a summer of live music from the BBC. Watch an iPlayer, listen on sounds. Oh, go on then. So I'm Mark Riley in Studio SO1 in Doc House Media City, whilst in Studio SO3 we have got Holiday Ghosts. Hello. 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 Um, I'll tell you what, do another song for us and then we'll continue the conversation. So um, what's next? It's called Third Dream. Third Dream. Okay, excellent. Thank you. I'll tell you what, I have to say, I would have been very happy if that had gone on for another 10 minutes. That was <laughs> Holiday Ghosts and Third Dream. That was just That's really, brilliant. really brilliant. Thank you. Cheers, man. Oh, thanks, Mark. Yeah, Cheers absolutely love it. And somebody there just has seen you recently, and, and they mentioned the Velvet Underground. Do you think that's a fair kind of touchstone for you, or are they out of the frame completely? Yeah, I love the Velvet Underground. <laughs> yeah, I think definitely they've been a big influence, definitely from when we first started. Hmm. We're looking at the later Velvets, aren't we, of 1968 and 1969? Live in 69 is 
one of my favorite records for sure but mine too yeah i don't like live albums to be honest but i mean that one is an absolute that one is a banger it's, it's an absolute <laughs> killer isn't it yeah okay and so um let's get to it then i mean because we've never spoken before so um, where did you form in the first place um in falmouth in cornwall right. um i started doing it on my own for a while because i was in a like a heavier punk band and I started doing kind of getting into the Velvet Underground and bands like that and doing some slower songs and and then um, various lineups and then I met Kat and then me and Kat started playing. I basically learnt to play drums through doing this band so Sam taught me to play drums whilst we sort of formed this project together. Yeah. Right, okay. So that was the sort of beginning of... So, that. so what would be the nearest? I mean, I got you in geography, no great surprise. But what would be the <laughs> town that you would go to to go and watch bands be, being based in Falmouth? Because I know from reading out tour dates every show that I do uh, that it's not on the circuit. It's starting to be a bit more Fel, now, yeah. Um, but um, yeah, it's got its own. It's got a really cool scene down there actually, but because um, it's got uh, the music course on the uni that's mm. always bringing down. Right, you'd always have like three, three or four bands playing almost every week maybe twice a week in Falmouth. So there was always loads of gigs, but it would just be the same bands. Yeah, well, it's not necessarily like a touring but spot. Now, but now, yeah, now it's getting more diverse, I guess. Yeah, I mean, it is, I, you know, mm. and I don't mean to be disrespectful, but it is kind of like you have to make your own entertainment, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. exactly. Sure. Yeah. 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 You know. And I guess, Bristol's not too far. Yeah, Bristol's the nearest kind of one that By is a tour spot. By not too far, spot. I mean like three hours away. But <laughs> <laughs> well, this almost reminds me of conversations that I have with American bands, whereby I feel guilty because they come here and then the next day they're playing in Aberdeen. They go, Aberdeen? That's only four hours away. Yeah, okay. And so um, when I first heard you, in fact, I need to mention Tim Baines, my mate Tim Baines, because he mentioned you first. Um, he said he was going to go and see you at Ramsgate Music Hall. And then uh, from what you're telling me, the gig didn't eventually happen. But I went and checked you out as a result of that. And I loved what I heard. But the first time I heard you, you did remind me, not, not because of exactly what you're doing, but just the kind of spirit of the band and the sound to an extent uh, of the Bug Club. Now, it turns out that I was dead right because uh, there's a big mutual respect there. Yeah, yeah we yeah. love those guys, yeah. They're a great band. Yeah, really love what they do. And yeah. Sam can really shred the guitar. Yeah. Well, yes, I can. <laughs> Other Sam. <laughs> well, it's, they're you know, all amazing. They yeah. recommended their manager to you and vice versa, and you're all one big happy family now. Now we are. Yeah, yeah. yeah we are, yeah. It's Hello, cool. Dave. All right, then. So, <laughs> and I can see, I mean, he, have you, I tell you what, just between you and me, because he won't be listening. <laughs> uh, have you seen how hard he works at Bug Club? Yeah. yeah. Yes. Yeah. They never stop those guys. Yeah. I know. They don't stop. You need to brace yourselves. So <laughs> you, you, you've had two albums out already, which which passed me by, which is um, three. shame on me. Three. You've had three albums yeah. out. I thought the next one that hasn't been released yet is the third. That's the fourth, That's man. The fourth. Wow. Oh, Even worse. <laughs> Name and shame, Mark Riley. <laughs>